speaking. As I was going through my quiet time this morning, I came across the prophet Haggai. And I found it very interesting that Haggai was prophesying at the same time that Zerubbabel brought back a group of about 50,000 Jews from Babylon, and they returned to Jerusalem. And they're great desire was to rebuild the temple that had been destroyed in 586 BC. And so they got started on the temple and everybody was so excited and they laid the foundation of the temple. Well, when the older generation saw that small foundation, they began to weep because they recalled that grand foundation upon which Solomon's temple had been built. At the same time, the younger generation were rejoicing that finally we're going to have our own temple. So they got started in the project. But because of opposition from the people who lived in that area, who also sent a letter back to a, another king who was basically in charge of that whole area, uh, that king said, stop the building. And so when the Jews heard about that, they stopped the building and they began to work on their own houses. And time had passed year after year. And so Haggai, the prophet, says this to them. Now, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. <laughs> Have you ever heard that from God? Through another person, perhaps through the scriptures or maybe through your parents? Give careful thought of the way you're living. That's what God was saying. And he goes on to say, go up to the mountains and bring down timber and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expect much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty. Because of my house, which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with his own house. Sound familiar? We know what God wants us to do but it's going to be a little costly. Uh, so we decide to continue to do things our own way or to be about our business and we forget the Lord's business because the Lord's business may cost us something or the Lord's business may not be too attractive to our friends. Yes, doing the Lord's will at times is costly but believe me, not doing the will of God is even more costly. Think about that. I encourage you to read the prophet Haggai. I believe it will be a great blessing to you. Thanks for watching.